Greetings in the name of the Most High Yah. It's King Yedaya, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. Today is the 15th of September 2022. It's 12.01 p.m. And I'll do a trade recap for you guys on PLTR. So um, I was looking at PLTR and um, like on my watch list, I saw that it was bullish. I kind of woke up late today and um, started looking at the chart around, I think it was 10 o'clock. So when I saw the run up, I looked at the chart on like a 6 30 minute chart right here. And I saw that we're kind of doing like a gap fill, but it's still, it's still within... Um, still within a, a value area here like around um around let's say 804 8 that's like um it's still within value so um let me see if i can get this epic pen working this epic pen is acting up yeah no epic pen oh wait i found it I found it. All right, so around this area here, we have like this this cluster of like a uh, um, some sideways movement, like a I guess like you'd call it. Uh, it would be like a bullish flag, like moving upwards, and um, then we had this big flush down, right? So price move sideways. And then we had this pop up here this morning, right? But we ran back into into this level right here again, right? So that's a high volume level. You can see these volume at um, price levels. They're quite they're quite high coming across here. Here's another one, and this is the platform where um, we had the congestion where it took off from. So actually, it's 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 not really breaking out. Although it's breaking out from this congestion area here it's not breaking out from from the highs right so on a bigger time frame we're still within value so while i was looking at that i was looking at the let's see the camarilla levels is um it's a higher value relationship overlapping higher value because s3 is over here at around 75 70. no let me just make sure let me make sure here at 75 at sorry at 754 and r3 is at 771 right so yesterday's r3 was at 755 and s3 was at 743 so it's a overlapping higher value because s3 is now just one cent below um prior days r3 so with this relationship, it's almost a higher value relationship, and we did get the the move that um, correlates with that, right? So, the thing is, is I was just looking at the Camarilla levels we came up to, which is heavy resistance R six. We even came up to floor pivot R three at eighty o two, and we're having trouble breaking out there, right? So let's see how I actually traded this go down to the five minutes here and right so when we had this rejection right here at um floor pivot r3 on the next candle took this this break when it broke um r6 camarilla r6 at 7.93 um, we came down but then we bounced back up kind of just above vwap and floor pivot r2 see floor pivot r2 is right there the copper line so i kind of slightly took profit there could call it like a break even a slight profit right took another short here at um the break of r6 again and this one came down to r4 and reverse so took a small profit on that again so two kind of semi break even slight profit trades there and um yeah then after i kind of jumped into to amd to go short so i think i'll do a separate video for that so on pltr we have a break even and this is my amd trade right now so i'll stop this video now and i'll do a trade recap or a live trade on that one all right y'all it's king solomon 
aka King Yedia. Why not kind of switch it up there? It's King Yedia, aka King Solomon. So we're doing the Hebrew first, then the English, because it's a Hebrew name, right? So so it's King Yedia, aka King Solomon, staying wise in life and in these markets. And you all trade safe and stay blessed. Looking like AMD is, is about to come back down. Nice, nice. <laughs> 